Hi, welcome to another show on Russ on Flowers. I'm your host, Russ. Today we're at my favorite store in the whole wide world, Illinois Harley-Davidson. We're gonna be doing a show today to talk about masculine flowers, right? Your dad's looking for a flower arrangement for Father's Day or you're looking to give him one, this is it, right? We're gonna be doing one inside. We have a lot of guests coming in to check out our stuff. Come inside, take a look around with us and see what we're gonna be doing. Inside Illinois Harley, I'm with the owner Bob Maxent, great friend and family member actually. And Bob is here with us to talk about Harley Davidson, great motorcycle. We both have them. He has all these. I have one, but um, he'll tell you a little bit a little bit about how they started, when they started, where they started. Yeah, we uh, Dad and I bought this business from Bill Thede in 1967, 41 years ago. Uh, Bill had been a Harley dealer since 1925. And it's known as the Motorcycle Man, one of the first dealerships in, in Illinois. And uh, we have uh, been proud owners of this operation ever since. All right. It's the best job you could have in the world. <laughs> <laughs> to ride motorcycles whenever you want. Riding motorcycles and raining flowers. Yeah, right. <laughs> so we want to thank Bob and Illinois Harley for having us out today. What a great and exciting day. Father's Day around the corner, we're we'll doing some masculine flower arranging. So you guys that are out there that want to give your flower, flowers to your father, this is it, right? And what a better environment. It's a lot better than the studio. So today what we're gonna to be talking about is Birds of Paradise, all tropicals, right? All tropicals, manly flowers, um, takes them to places they wish they were, if they're not there, right? So we have Birds of Paradise today. We're doing Cymbidium orchids, right? We have tea leaves and something that's called horsetail or rush, all right? And don't forget this, black vase. All right, so remember whenever we're arranging, it's always double, double the size of the vase. So it's two times the size to, or one and a half to two times the size of the vase, right? So we're starting today, we're starting with the cymbidiums. They're the most fragile pieces, okay? Rust on flowers, rust wholesale flowers. We carry all this product. Go to Tropicals, Cymbidium Orchids, okay? I'm gonna be starting out with them, like I said, because they're the most fragile pieces in the arrangement, right? You're cutting these about an inch and a half up. You're gonna measure it off the vase. Cut them up about an inch and a half. And then you're gonna measure the second one, right? We're gonna do highs and lows the whole way through, okay? So when you're cutting, remember on a diagonal cut through, or if you're using scissors, same sort of deal. Right? So you got high and you have low. Right? We're moving then to the birds, We're starting high on those, doing threes. Cymbidiums are extremely expensive flowers. So in this case, we're only using two, and then we're going to back it up with three. So we're always doing odd numbers when you're arranging. Okay? So your birds, doing three. All right? Remember, diagonal cut on these babies. And I like to take the heads and create opposites with them. So it's tall, medium, and small, right? Now if you're not finding that the flowers are fitting the way you want them to, you can take them out, reinsert them, and you want to kind of build a grading system in the base with the stems and you can feel where they're at and kind of, you can lock them in. If you go around the different stems, you can lock them where you want them to. If you create the grid, right? We talked about the grid on the shows before. All right, then I'm gonna do my filler. You guys know that we, I always do filler last. You get the flowers where you want them, then you use the fillers. In this case, our fillers are our greens. Starting in the rear, we're using tea leaves. Coming in the back, flare of tea. Now, what I did with these is we just, we folded the tea leaves in half and we stapled them. Okay, we did a quick staple, bam. Okay, gives it a little bit of interest. Tea leaves can be used in a number of different ways, right? So, in this case, again, I'm tripling them up. 
you guys are gonna find this is really cool. They're all folded, the flare in the back. And then we're going to the rush. And we have the tea leave on the, would be looking at this, it's on your left side. So we're going with some height and the flare on the right side with the, with the rush, right? So again, it's short, medium, and tall. We can bend these around too a little bit. And the whole time, I know you guys are going to be playing with these flowers to get them exactly where you want them. Because they are going to move around as you're moving the arrangement around. And what's cool about Rush is that you can bend them and shape them the way you want. Right? And so we're going to do a piece like this. Right? And remember the whole time when you're using all these flowers, you want to sink everything to the base. So it's hydrating, right? You don't want to leave anything exposed at a higher level than where the water's at. Right? So there you go. How long did that take us? Cool piece. All right, we're gonna leave the arrangement here with Stella and for Bob. We appreciate them having us here. We're honored to be here today, so we're gonna go over here and put it on the concierge desk. All right, now moving into our. All right, moving into our flowers that look like people, new segment, most fun segment of the show. Today we're talking about orange cosmos. <laughs> Carrot top. <laughs> orange cosmo. Carrot top. All right, moving into Q&A today. Russ, what is the longest lasting flower I can buy? We can only afford to buy flowers twice a month. So I have to buy hardy flowers. Stacy in Minnesota. Depends. So obviously, well, I would roll with mini carnations or Alstromeria. Eat both are long lasting flowers. Tend to get boring. Um, you can move into some tropicals. There is inexpensive tropicals certain times of the year. Okay, so if you're gonna research those, hit Russ Wholesale Flowers and we'll be able, or email us, and we'll be able to tell you how to get some more variety and some long lasting flowers. Russ, is there a college for flower design, what to learn, but I don't know where to go, Amanda, Salem, Oregon. There's probably a floral design school in every major city across America. Otherwise, Phil Rolota, best school in the world, right? Phil Rolota. He, uh, he's an AZ in California, great friend of the families, and uh, look him up. You want to spend some dough and learn how to flower design, he'll take you to the top, okay? Lastly, since you're at a Harley dealership, ask Bob what a good starter Harley is. Steve, back at the studio. Good job, Steve. Do I need to ask Bob that? What do you think? Sporty, man. Sporty, Dyna or a Dyna? I already know, so. Don't need to ask Bob. Both those, Steve, will we'll work on getting one of those one of these days. Thanks for coming to the show. We appreciate you being with us. Happy Father's Day. We'll see you next time.